Hey guys, welcome uh, to a tutorial on the um, easy binding that I've made for my album. I'm just going to show you the actual binding itself. I won't go through making the actual cover. I'm sure you guys know already how to make the cover. Um, it was so super easy and I hope you'll find it easy too. Okay, so let's get started. You'll need a 1 8 inch hole punch. I've got my um, We Are Memory Keepers. Some wet glue or you can use score tape. Um, bone folder, card stock. Uh, you'll have your chipboard binder already. Sorry, my phone's going crazy. Um, your cutter and your scoreboard as well, which you'll need. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to make them make the binding the size that I've got that I've made the Kaiser Craft album. And um, so let's get started. So what I've done is I've created a mock-up spine. And if I can find oh, it's right in front of me. Okay, so that'll be my mock spine. I'm visualizing I've already got my two uh, back and front cover next to it okay and I will show you how I inserted this bit here on the back of uh, this album okay all right so mine my my spine sorry my spine measures two by seven okay so what you're going to do is you'll cut your cardstock in the same fashion. Now bear in mind you've already covered this with paper, okay? So what we're going to do is I'll cover, I'll cut this at two by seven. So I've got a cut for me, okay? And by seven. All right. Now. You can make more pages, just make your spine wider. And also bear in mind with this method, you don't really need to put it on the spine. You can use it so that it's cascading on your cover as well. So, um, you know, it's not just one use. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around to the seventh um, inch wide. Um, seven sorry seven inch lengthwise okay then I'm just going to use my ruler you could you could mark it at half an inch using your ruler okay like that and then drawing a line across I'll just do it for video purposes here okay so what I'm doing is marking half an inch on either side I flip it around and I mark half an inch on that side as well so make sure they're pretty straight all right the next thing you're going to do is you're going to score a quarter inch from the top line down to the bottom line. You don't want to have to go over because what's going to happen is you'll be punching holes along here. Okay? And the reason for the holes is it just gives it a bit more stability for the pages so that they don't tear. Alright? And they don't tear your paper. So what I'm going to do is I'll go in at half an inch. I'll find my score line there. Then you come in at half an inch again, or quarter inch. No, it's half an inch. Okay, that side. So I've done mine half inch, one inch, and then one and a half inch. Okay. So that will allow me to have five, five flip pages. And I'll show you how in a minute. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is along those score lines where your one inch mark is or half an inch mark is, I'm just going to punch holes there. Okay? And you see that? I'm a little off centre on that one, but that's fine. I'm doing this for demo purposes. So what you're going to do is you're going to mark it. You're going to punch those holes on both sides. I don't know if I can get it right. Okay. Right, so I'm going to turn it around and do the other three holes. And see how I'm just doing it a, like halfway on the line and half off? Okay. And then this side, it's harder to do it on camera. Right, 
so we've got that section done okay so the next thing you're going to do is flip it over and you're going to want to get some uh, designer paper for this all right so what I'm going to just do is just mark I'm going to eyeball mine um, as to where I want it cut and this is the way that I usually work I, there's no measuring with mine. Some people like to cover the whole of the chipboard. I like to have a bit of a border around it. Okay, so I'm just going to cut mine. If I can find out where I put that score mark, the actual pencil mark, there it is. Okay. Alright. And this is just some scraps that I've got left over, so that's fine. Alright, now before you do this, I do advise that you do use computer paper or some sort of scrap paper first, so that until you get comfortable with it, okay, and then you're not wasting your good, um, your, your good cardstock and your designer paper that you're using. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I will actually stick this down. Now before you do that, if you need to ink it, go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm just going to put some of my wet glue here. And I'm using the wet glue for the purpose of the video. You can use score tape, which is pretty adhesive, and you're going to need something strong for this. Okay, so move this out the way, and I'm just going to stick it down and hopefully get it in the right spot okay now when you use wet glue make sure you use a matte wet glue um, if you use glossy accents there'll be a sheen so if you do happen to have some excess wet glue left over and when it dries you'll get the sheen happening like so it'll be glossy basically and you don't want that you want to be able to hide any of those um, mistakes that you have with your wet glue as you can see I'm not very level but that's okay um, like I said I'm doing it for the video purposes okay so what we're gonna do we've covered that side I'm gonna flip it back over and I'm gonna move my scoreboard out of the way for now okay so what you're gonna do and you're gonna need to do a couple of passes with this because you've got your, your cardstock and then you've got your designer paper okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on my little hole here with the blade and cut right down to the um, the top hole there all right so if I start it down here and you can line it up with the line there and you can just feel the hole the edge of the hole there okay now my blade is gonna play up because I need to really um, change it so what I'll do is and of course I can't find my blade you can also use your um, your Martha Stewart or whatever you've got your knife okay your craft knife you can also use that to cut it with and I think I might actually do that I just gotta find my glass mat which I've got here so I'll just take out my glass mat and um, use that okay and all you can all you need to do is basically grab your ruler as long as it's got a steel edge on the outside of it and the Tim Holtz one is great for that okay so I'm just going to line it up from hole to hole and then um, and then cut it Right. and give it a couple of pass throughs you should be able to feel the glass or your cutting mat underneath it once you've done it right as you can see here I've got a bit of a tear and that was from my cutter okay so maybe wait till the glue's dried a bit if you're using ATG tape I think that'll work better okay because you don't want those nasty rough edges all right, I'm trying to line that up, make sure it's lined up nicely. Oh. Okay. 
And make sure you do cut along the ruler and not like I did across the page. There we go. I've got a bit of a nick on mine. But that's okay. It's all good. Alright. Mine's going to look pretty rough, guys. Um, okay. So keep on going until you've finished all your lines. Now this is the result you should have. Okay? Right. So the next thing you're going to want to do is grab your cardstock. Okay? Now, I've cut... Because I've cut in from the 7 inch mark, that is 6 inches long, okay? So my card stock will be 6 inches long, but I do suggest that you just cut it shy of the 6 inches, okay? So I will do that here. As you can see, just shy of, oh, there you go, just shy of the 6 inch mark, okay? Now... You'll need, let me see, three, five pages, okay? So I wanted to make mine different, the inside pages, okay? So I've got one big page and then three smaller ones in the middle and then another big one on the outside here, all right? You can have them all the same size, it's up to you. So we're going to cut, okay... Just shy. Do the three. Okay. Shy of six, and that was my scoring blade. And then what we're going to do is the other two a seven. So what I'm going to do is just do it shy of seven. Okay. So just the 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 little line before the seven. And of course, I'm coming down with a cold and I'm, my brain is just not functioning. Okay, so I've done that for the two of them. And keep these excess pieces because you can use them for pockets. You know me, on my albums, I like to use all up, I like to use the excess up. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my scoring kit and I'm going to score it at half an inch in. Okay, and I will do that to all my papers. Now, you can make these into pockets. You can just have them as pages or like I'm going to do, I'm going to have flip pages in mine. And when my album's done, um, I will post a video on it. Okay, so we've done that. And then what I've done on my other pages my shorter ones is I scored it at half an inch and then I went along and scored it at the seven inch mark okay and that gave me my flip over page here like I said you don't necessarily need to do that you can make your own pockets or you can use envelopes but what I do suggest is that you will need to have a hinge Okay, so I'd probably make it two inches, or not two inches, <laughs> that's funny, an inch and then score it in half, okay, and then um, you have your hinge here which you're going to tape into um, the, the spine bit, okay. So what I'll do for the next three pieces, I will score them at seven. sure you crease your, your spines down really well or your folds really well. Oh, go the opposite way first. Alright. Okay, so I've got the three done and I'll show you how I attach these first. Okay. So we've got our we've got our little system here. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to stick some adhesive on the inside. Like I said, you can use wet glue or you can use adhesive. Um, totally your choice. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. All right, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna adhere it right to the score line because I want a little bit of leeway there for when my pages open up. 
Okay, so I'm just folding over the excess tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the first one up and I am going to slide it in under there. Okay. And I'm just going to line it up shy of that score line. All right. If I can get it so that it's centered as well. Okay. You don't want it directly on that score line because then it's not going to fold. Okay. You'll have a bit of a bulky part. So I want to make sure that it is shy of that score line. Okay. So I'm just going to take it off and fix that up. Now the good part about it is if you do have wet glue, it gives you a bit more room to manoeuvre in. Okay. So that if you did make a mistake, you can pull it out and redo it again. Okay. Oh. Okay, so that's one of my pages which I've got here. And just give it a good burnish down with your bone folder. Alright. So what you're going to do is do exactly the same thing with your next hinge. Now you might want to put, you know, back to back or you might want it running the same way. It, it's up to you. It's individual choice. Okay, and like I said, you can make the pages however you want to. This is just showing you how to do the binding of it or how I do the binding for the pages. Okay, super easy, guys. Love it. Alrighty, and what you're going to do is you'll open up the next slit and do the same again. Okay, now I didn't cut that one right to the edge, I'm just going to pop it. All right, okay, that's going to slide in, okay, and then once again, line it up, sorry, this is a bit too fiddly, I think I've got too much, there we go, okay, okay, so what you're going to do is take it back a little, tape it down and fold it over. So this will give you that effect that I've got on the inside of the album, okay? And that's what you can see. If you cut it nicely, then it looks really good, all right? Then what you're going to do is do your last page. And I will do the same thing here. You can get it here. All right. Now, I'm not wasting this cardstock. I'll be using it on another album as well, so which is, you know, really good. All right. So we've got the last one in for this. I can get it in there. Okay, that should slide in nicely. All right. Now, what you want to do is pull it out. And remember I said just before the score line, give it enough of a leeway there. And I'm just stuck on this one. You know, as usual, things don't work out on camera. So I'm just going to pull that one out. There you go. Okay. So I've burnished that down. And I've got two flaps that way. Okay. So there's your system there. There's your binding system. Now, for the outside pages. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to burnish them down. Fold them one way. And fold them the opposite way. And what you're going to do is you are going to actually tape it down on the outside. Okay. Now what you might need to do is when you're doing this, just do it shy of the two inches. So that when you do close your album, it's not actually on your score line of the binding. Okay. So what I will do is... I will do this side. Okay. All right. So that'll go on this side here. Whoops, a daisy. And once again, just make sure it's just up to the score line. It's not actually on your score line. All right. Now, what you can do is because of the pages will be closed. I like to open it up and then you can kind of determine on where you want to cut it or if you want to fold it over 
I'll just give it a quick mark on there and then that'll give me my score line across there okay then you'll do the same for the reverse side of it okay so that you'll have both ends which are covered like this Just make sure there's no overhang of tape okay and you'll do the same thing here and this is super easy guys super easy no muss no fuss all right in my case there is fuss okay and take away that so there you go you've got that and then there's your your hinge binding there now once you've got these pieces folded back, I'm just going to do it pretty roughly here guys. Um, I'll create a pocket out of that and what have you. Okay, so I've done this pretty rough. Alright, make sure you have all your pieces folded, not like I did where you had the longer pieces. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you'll see your cut marks here and everything. So you're going to run your score tape along the inside of it, okay? This would hold all your hinges, okay? Then what you're going to do is stick it to the inside of your spine, like I've done on mine, okay? So this is my mock spine here. All right, we've made it. And there you go, okay? So that's your binding system. How easy was that guys? Super easy, right? Okay. Then bear in mind the chipboard's already stuck down. All you've done is stuck down your cardstock and your designer paper along with your hinges. And that's your album. Okay. Now for the next section that I've done at the front here, okay, this bit here, what we're going to do is... I'm going to use my scrap pieces of paper that I've just trimmed up, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it at two inches wide, okay? Now this is a um, cheat's way of doing things as opposed to measuring. I eyeball, okay? So what, I've, what I tend to do is on one side I will eyeball half an inch, okay? And then I mark it. So then I know that's where I'm going to score it. Okay. And don't forget to erase your pencil marks, guys. All right. Then the next part I'm going to do, because I've already scored it, I'm going to fold it over and I'll mark it to the edge of my cover. Okay. So then I know that's my other score mark. You can measure it if you like and put that extra half an inch on. So it'll make it like eight inches and then... You know, score it half an inch on either side. But this is the way that I work, and um, everybody works differently. They've all got everybody's got their own method. Okay, so what you've done is created a little hinge flap here. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to have your pages. Okay, that's going to be on the inside so what you're going to need is two pages and it's up to you how big you want them or how small you want them as well all right so i'm just going to mark this i want my score line i want my paper to be able to slide into the two hinge area here okay so i'm just going to quickly mark it i know it's seven okay so i'll just cut it down to size Probably didn't like that too well. So just shy of seven again, I think that'll like I said, try it out on scrap paper first, guys. Then what you're gonna do is you'll score at half an inch again. Okay. Alright. Now you can make one page longer, one page shorter, totally up to you. Okay. So what I will do is I will get some tape in there. Oh. Okay. 
and I'll fold it over make sure that it's not over um, hanging over on your um, your page there okay so what I'm simply going to do is slide it in there if it doesn't slide in then what I suggest you do is just trim it down a little bit remember trim off less at first because otherwise if you trim off more you might not get it right and you can't make it longer if you need to okay so trim off less first all right so that's my flip pocket on this side okay so what I'm going to do is I'll cut this down and I'll make another flip for the other side I'll trim it around there I want that a bit shorter okay so the opposite side of this hinge here screw it at half an inch again all right and there we go and this would be easy to show you live but unfortunately um, you guys are in the US so there is a time difference I might have to work out Ustream and where the majority are okay so what you're gonna do is tape it to either side so you've got it like that okay so you've got your fold over bit here there's that bit that folds over like this and then you've got your pocket underneath so all you're gonna do is adhere these two uh, little flaps here okay once again I'm just going to use my tape okay Oop. and then I'm going to put it on the back of my album all right so I've done this and what I want to do is I want to fold one of the ends right over okay because I want to be able to get it as close as I can to the edge without it going over all right so you'll see here I've got this bit here and I've just moved it right across and make sure it's not hanging over because you're gonna you know it's not gonna look really nice all right so I've done that and you might find that you need to trim off that's why I say you probably need to I just done this roughly but you know what I can bend that in or I can trim it off after I've put it on there. So I'll give it a bit of a trim while I've got it up here. That's easy done. All right. Okay. Line that up, make sure it's not hanging over the edge. All right. And there's the back of my cover on the inside. So I've got two more flip pages, plus I've got another pocket underneath, okay? So what you've actually got is like, what are we? It depends on what you're putting in there. As you can see here, mine's going to turn out to be a flip on this side, open on here and, and what have you, okay? So that's my album. I hope you guys give it a go and give it a go on um, your albums. And like I said, it's pretty simple. I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you guys do too. And um, when you're done, send me an email. Let me know. I'd love to see your work, your finished work. I always love to see people's work once it's done. Okay, have a great day, guys. And thank you so much for all your lovely comments, and I'm glad that I piqued your interest on this binding. Thank you. Bye.